Hello. Now, the task in this experiment is to measure the resonant frequency of this cardboard tube. To do that, I've got at one end an iPad which is running a signal generator app called Tone Generator. And this will allow me to alter the frequency of the sound which is hopefully going to vibrate the air in the tube. I have the speaker of the iPad lined up with the end of the tube so that its vibrations will vibrate the air in the tube. Now it should be perfectly possible to hear the resonant point because we should hear the volume of uh, the amplitude of the air inside there getting much louder. Uh, but just in case that doesn't pick up on the on the microphones, I've got a decibel meter app at this end and hopefully that will help us to find the resonant point as well. Now I know that the resonant frequency of the tube is about 630 Hz. So I'm starting the frequency generator at about 489, a little bit below the resonant point, and I'm going to increase the frequency to the resonant point and we'll go past there and in, in carry on increasing the frequency and then we'll have to come back down and try and find the, the resonant point again and hopefully the decibel meter will help us to pick that up. So here goes, we'll start the decibel meter running and then the tone generator. Okay, I think we just about got there on that. And let's just have a quick look at the results there. First of all, if I just zoom in a little bit on the decibel meter, we can see just what happened there. And as we increase the frequency, the amplitude of the sound from the tube got louder and louder and louder up to this resonant point here. Then as we increased the frequency, the sound started to go quiet again as we passed the resonant point. So in an attempt to find it again, we bring the frequency back up, back down, and then sort of play around with it a little till we sort of get back up to that resonant point there. So we stopped it at that, and if we just have a swing round to this end, we can see that at that point, hopefully, which was the resonant point, we have a frequency there of 635.6 hertz and that hopefully should be the resonant frequency of the cardboard tube.